afternoon and welcome to Audio Tree Live. Today is Wednesday, September 14th, 2016, and we're very excited to have with us today Barons Whitfield and the Savages. Take it away, guys.
Field and the Savages. Sounds awesome in here, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Digging it, digging it. Um, I saw a photo online of like you at a festival recently pouring champagne like all over. <laughs> I <laughs> I know a lot of your like shows tend to be from what I've read online. I haven't seen you guys live yet, but I have, tend to be pretty wild, you know. So I'm I'm wondering what are your influences for that? Is there like particularly is it the music or is it like did you like see other people back in the day that you really enjoyed that kind of gave that energy or? It's a lot of those things, you know, yeah. it's, um, you know, just guys like Little Richard, mm -hmm. you know, George Clinton, James Brown, the list goes on and on. Wacky, crazy, <laughs> but influential uh, artists who uh, had their own thing, you know, yeah, and, uh, sure. you know, you take a little here and you take a little there and it just happens, you know. It's, it's it, When you do this kind of music, it's always spontaneous. You don't mm -hmm. know... People don't know what you're going to get some nights. I don't know if I'm going to survive or live again. So it's, 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 it's fun. Let's well, put it that way. That's great. Well, you kind of play it like every show is your last then. Is kind of what you're saying? In no, way, I won't right? say that. No, all right, all right, all right. That's good. Is there any in particular, like those artists that you mentioned, was there any that you were able to see live, if, if a few? Well, I met Little Richard. Uh, I saw awesome. James Brown. I saw Funkadelic many, 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 many times. Their yeah. stories, but I don't have time. But uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, the, yeah. A lot, a lot of the acts I did see in my mm -hmm. day, but uh, a lot I heard on the radio, a lot I saw on television, a lot of records. That's our our mantra in this band's records, records, vinyl, vinyl. Yeah. So you know, yeah, that's what I did. Listen to a lot of that stuff. Do you collect vinyl now, like yourself, or? Not as big as I once was, but yeah, I still, you know, we, we, we run, I know Peter's beat me three to one on that yeah, already, the, yeah, this got, tour. Do you have quite the collection, Peter? <laughs> <laughs> no comment, no comment. All right, well, you guys can roll into that next song whenever you're ready. <laughs> N next song is a uh, tune off of uh, Dig Thy Savage, so we'll call Hangman's Token.
what more can I do? Trembling knees, I aim to please. What more can I do? A tell of eyes, pack of lies. What more can I do?
Audio Tree Live with Barron's Whitfield and the Savages. So I know you guys live in some different areas, correct? How does that work with writing? Yeah. Like songwriting? Like I know you guys are working on the new album you just put out. Um, how, how does that work as far as songwriting? Is it like a collaboration? You send things back and forth? You get together? Well, um, yeah. actually, uh, Peter's the man that puts yeah, I mean, a lot of that stuff together along with Phil and yeah. everybody. But, Technology definitely helps, you know. You know. Yeah. yeah? Do you guys do like, so like kind of have like some home studio things that you work on and send it to each other? Or? Basically, you know, yeah. We try to make it as crude as possible so that <laughs> nobody can figure out exactly what the song is. So then when we get together and learn it, we actually have to really figure it out. So <laughs> it adds more, uh, everybody's input is really into it that way. <laughs> so it's just a really sketch. sparse sketch, yeah, demo. Yeah. Yeah. And then do you get together for like a few weeks before the studio? Or do you meet in the studio? We, How does we probably should. It's usually just one week ahead <laughs> yeah. of time. But yeah. that gives it that immediacy that we're talking about. You leave maybe. the yeah. mistakes in. <laughs> yeah, they sound great. It sounds awesome. So when you guys come together like that, do you find it difficult to like kind of get everything in time, like organized in time? Or is it kind of like you said where you just kind of go in and like if it happens, it happens in the studio? No, it doesn't. We know what we're going to do. I mean, okay, we, yeah, we yeah. All the songs kind of lined up. Oh, okay, and everybody kind of gets the sketch like a month ahead and oh, then, okay. and then they kind of come up with their parts and we get together and everybody it ends up sounding different than you'd think but it ends mm -hmm. up being good because we kind of can really play together we kind of feel each other a bit so, mm -hmm. so how long at this version of the band like how long have you guys all been playing together five years five since, okay. yeah when, december 2010 we did Okay. Savage Kings, so this lineup has been steady since then. Yeah. And, and do you feel like, it, it, like as it's grown, do you feel like it gets easier? Like you said, getting together and doing these sketches, do you feel like that is a lot easier than it was five years ago, or you feel like you guys are still kind of on that same path? No, the chemistry was instant. Was it? That's great. Yeah. That's awesome. It's really yeah. cool to hear. That sounds awesome, guys. But you can it's essentially it. unchanged. Yeah, well, that's good then. If, if it isn't fixed, or if it isn't broken, Don't. why fix it, right? right? Yeah, something like that I hear. You guys can run to that next one whenever you're ready. Yeah, the next one is off of the last record. Uh, uh, a lot of these tunes are on uh, um, the last couple of records we did with uh, uh, Bloodshot Records here in Chicago. Oh, yeah. This next one is a Phil Lenker original. This one's called Full Moon in the Daylight Sky. I fall down on the street In the night, deep in my back Another bed in my side And as I slip, I start to scream Why did I have to be a kind? Why must I always tell the truth? Why must I lie? Why must I
just can't do it, people. Walk and leave my kitten all alone. I'm drinking whiskey from a flask, and now I'm older than a stone. and the savages sounding awesome in here guys oh, really you. digging it um i was gonna ask about uh earlier you talked about bloodshot records how did that originally come about like when did they reach out to you did you reach out to reach out to them or well um, um we uh well we, we heard about uh the label uh because uh we uh, we wanted the the next record next two albums mm -hmm. uh we wanted to have it out here in america because the uh uh, the last record we did was a uh, uh, well. The record we did in 2010 mm -hmm. was put out by Munster Records in Spain. Okay. So we didn't have any distribution at the time uh, in America. To, uh, but now we have this uh, uh, label called Shake It Records out of Cincinnati, Ohio. Oh, nice. So um, we, you know, we needed. A, we we were saying, well, who, who can we call? And mm -hmm. got this recommendation from uh, some friends about Bloodshot. So we gave it a call and. Uh, they were very interested. They were very happy. One, one of the guys, uh, Rob, who run, runs it, uh, was a big fan back in the day. He went to school in Boston. Oh, that's awesome. And uh, he said, oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> savage. Oh, they want to be. Oh. So, that's great. So they talked to Pat. <laughs> that's talked that's to exactly Peter how it went down. Then Peter <laughs> finished the deal off. We, we actually recorded the album first, so we just okay. sent it to them, and they, and they really liked it, so... It was pretty easy because they didn't have to think about, well, what's this thing going to sound like? Oh, oh, that's awesome. <laughs> so after all these years, and you guys have been doing this for a while and putting these records out with different labels, what keeps you, like, motivated to keep doing this? Like, I want to, like, on a personal level, I was always curious. I'm, like, for, for such a longevity of a band, like, what keeps you just, I don't know, going, I guess? Uh, the love of the music, for one, and two, mm -hmm. uh, hopefully that there's people out there that reciprocate, as they say. Um, mm -hmm. That love this kind of music. I, I know it's, uh, you know, the kind of music we do is uh, it's it's if you feel that it's going to be around forever and ever. But there's always changes and always uh, people's understanding of what rock and roll should be or what mm -hmm. rhythm and blues. And so, yeah. you know, and and the the people now they're getting a little younger. So I mean, they need to know. And I hope yeah. through what we put out on record and. Uh, Maybe this particular television broadcast may yeah. do a lot of things, but you know we're still out there grinding it, rocking it, and you know we we love it because it's what we do and what we love. You know that's all. Well, we can. Maybe Peter wants to add uh, a, a, a ice cube on that one. No, you put it good. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it shows to the music really. I can hear it like when you guys play. It sounds awesome, and I can tell you definitely are passionate about it. So well, we really see, appreciate it. I can it. see your knees bobbling. <laughs> oh yeah. Getting down when you guys are getting down as well. <laughs> All right, well, if you guys want to roll into that last group whenever you're ready. Sure. We're going to walk out. Yeah, this is another Phil Lakers tune. This one, this is off the very first album back in 1983. That's awesome. Where were you in 1983? Uh, I wasn't born yet. <laughs> uh huh, you were just floating around. Huh? Yeah, I yeah. was. I was floating around. <laughs> this one's called Walk Out.
Audio Tree Live with Baron Footfield and Savages. Thank you guys so much for coming in. We really appreciate it. Sounded really tight and awesome in here. I enjoyed the performance. Okay. Um, they're on tour right now, so make sure you go check them out. So they're just starting today. They start, so they're going to be coming to a city near you. You Make sure you go look at their dates online. Also, Under the Savage Sky, the record's going to be coming out. Uh, check that out. And I also wanted to thank the lighting and camera crew, the audio engineers, and everyone here at Audio Tree that helps make this happen. You can help support us and them by downloading the session when it comes out in a few weeks. Until then, we'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Right. Thanks, guys. Thanks.